One thing to say, and I never did, is the reason I add these on here along the uh, edge board is to give me a straight line reference so that I know that I have the, uh, the two panels at least buttoned up pretty close, maybe a degree or so, and not some sort of angle. So all of this stuff comes off. Okay, we'll be pulling up our tape now. The better the tape, the less chance you're going to have of coming up in pieces, but it's easy to clean up the edges. Okay, the other thing to do now is take a little cabinet scraper, scrape off all the excess along the line, and give yourself a little bit of a check. Okay, I got, it. got these sheets moved around. Uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world. They're uh, almost 13 feet long, and sometimes when you uh, uh, move these things around, it's, it's good to have an extra hand, so I've got one of those to use whenever I need it. Uh, if these things are any heavier, I would have to get a real, probably another hand. So I got them laid out. I got the long panels this way. Depends on how you work. I worked lay out the scarfs this way because I had to get room in order to scarf them to run the plane down and also for the camera. Uh, but I always build it from the bow end out this way anyway, so I was going to have to move them around. The other thing I had to make certain when I got the panels together is I put the two good faces together because I want, because we, we said before, we want the pointing, the outside, this is the good side, pointing aft. And then we have to mirror image it on the other side. So when it's flipped over this way, it's made as flipped. When it's flipped over that way, it's made as flipped this way. So both of them now on the outside are going this way, and the two inside are going that way. So uh, next thing we're going to do is break out the sheet. I mean, this is basically all I do or use to build a boat. Now that I've got the uh, uh, pieces into the length that I need, now I need to put in my one foot grid lines and I also have to make certain that the top edge that I uh, measured down from on the plans is a straight line. Uh, there's a little bit of a uh, fudge factor in this one so I'm going to have to run a wire down the edge in order to set my, uh, my straight line so let me get on with that. Okay, I added a uh, straight line. I use some uh, uh, fishing line stretched out tight, and I've got. I'm really good all along through here. I start the scarf. The scarf has gotten shifted a little bit. Uh, I knew I was having to do some fudge factoring there uh, to get the things to line up. So somewhere along the line, at the end, one of these plies wasn't dead square, or uh, my uh, putting together did. But I'm not going to worry about that. I always leave a little bit of room along the top. For the uh, before you start the uh, uh, top panel, but I've got my uh, long ruler that when I lay down next to uh, here's the here's next gap, I'll lay down it and I'll bring up the edge right to it, right to my straight line, and that's where I'll start measuring. I'll put a clamp on it there to hold it in place and then I can start measuring across. Okay, what I've done now is I've laid out my tape along and close to the edge, and so now I'm going to go at every foot mark and put down a tick mark to let me know that's where my grid is going to be. I'll go over and do the other side and then I'll line them together. Okay, once you get you know, your uh, guide lined up on your one foot mark, you can put a, uh, a light line across. It doesn't take a lot. I've done it where I would uh, lay out the hole. If I wasn't videotaping, just doing a, a, a Flickr account photos, uh, I would just lay out a short line and mark it as I went. But on this one, uh, for uh, first timers on, on this kind of uh, layout that I use, uh, I'll go ahead and mark the line all the way across. It's uh, easy to erase them uh, as long as you do the erasing before you put any epoxy on. Okay, I've got my series of, of lines across the, uh, the uh, laid out 
scarfed up panels. And I like to also put in on each side which station line it is and go a little circle. And I'll go around to the other side now and do the same thing just so I'm not confused. Okay, one of the things that I do on my designs is I'll give you some downs and overs. The top part of the longest panel, the stern part, is right at the edge. And I've got a little, it's shortened up, but when I cut them out, uh, this bottom sheet sticks out just a hair longer, and I'm not going to worry about that. The top one is right up here on the back edge and the top edge. So I've got that, I know that at that point. I'm over three and five eighths from the trailing edge and I'm down from the top uh, seven and one sixteenths. And so I've got a cross there which I've found with my uh, raptor square. So now I know that that's, that's that point and I know that, I'll redo this later, but That's the end of my stern panel, right there. Now they'll arc, arc up like that. Station two, the top of this top panel, and there's only going to be a couple places I mark on uh, station two, and it's down 11 and 16 uh, 9 and 10, 11, and then 7 inches even. And I've got those marks. And then I can put a circle around them. The other spot is uh, down 15 and 5 eighths, and over 11 and 7 sixteenths, which is actually on the back side of the line. So I'll have to move my uh, scale here. Yeah, I've taken my end measurements for the ends of each of these three panels and I've established them on my, on my board. Uh, it takes a little bit of creative uh, measurement of uh, scales and, uh, and you're using your raptor square and uh, measure to get these points down. Some of them are away from the, uh, the uh, grid lines but it's easy to find, you know, to get them. Just, just take your time and uh, look at, make sure that everything looks correct and go back and measure it uh, two or three times before you cut everything out. Uh, but don't get so involved that like, oh gee, I marked it up and started racing everything. Just think about what you're doing before you do it and as you're doing it. So uh, that's the end of these special ones here. I'm going to go on down and basically it's just uh, follow a grid line. Uh, if you have to have a string line, make certain that your, your long uh, ruler is up against it without pushing it out of the line because uh, there's plenty of room. Go ahead and finish this out. There's not much more I could say on this. It's just the uh, when you get to the bow, there's downs and overs, and uh, the downs are from the like I said, everything's down from the top edge, and then over on this one, everything is over from the last uh, grid line, which would be the number 12 foot grid line. So uh, that's correct. Then all your downs and overs will come off of that uh, that last grid, even even foot grid. So okay, I've got the uh, the bow points laid out from their downs and overs and uh, that is usually you can get most of that by setting your square up like this measuring down and then lining your raptor square or whatever you use on the places that come over there's only a couple of them here and this one too let me talk about it it's taken me about uh, I guess maybe an hour to lay this out I've done it a few times so I've you know, and I know where to catch myself, but first time, you know, if you can do this in two or three hours, just take your time. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, uh, hopefully, my instructions are clear. Uh, it should be, you know. Uh, just, uh, just look at them and then think about them, and then look at the pictures. And then on yours, if you print them out, they're in full color. So until the next time.